All right, YouTube, we have the first uh, truly bad Trump statement here to evaluate uh, on the subject of flag burning. Now, this isn't spin by the media. This was from his Twitter, link in the description, uh, suggesting that those who burn the U.S. flag should face consequences, which is, is sort of up in the air. It's really circumstantial, uh, but uh, suggesting possibly like a year in prison or loss of citizenship. Uh the U.S. government can't just uh, unilaterally strip somebody of their citizenship. If they're a citizen, they remain a citizen. Um, that would be unconstitutional. Uh, it would also be unconstitutional to punish somebody uh, for the mere act of flag burning. Now, if they're, you know, piling a bunch of flags together in a, uh, a puddle of kerosene or something and burning it in the middle of the street, yeah, uh, there could be charges, certainly. Uh, you could accidentally, you could be endangerment. Potentially, you could harm people around you. Um, you could certainly do harm to property. But the mere act of burning a U.S. flag, if you're on your property, um, if you're not doing anything else, you're not, you know, waving a burning flag in somebody's face trying to attack them with it or something, has been ruled constitutional under the First Amendment, which is a good thing. Um, I don't think that burning a flag means really buttfuck anything, personally. Uh, it is a piece of cloth. I understand the symbology behind it, this sort of the, the standard of the United States. Uh, the same would be true of uh, the nation's uh, flags uh, the world over. If you burn a flag in other countries, it would be the same general symbolism, disdain for one's own nation. But the mere act of burning that flag is largely meaningless. That is, the only people who give it meaning are the people doing the burning and the people that get really incensed about it. It doesn't offend me at all. Uh, because the flag is not the nation, uh, but the government does not have the capability and the legal authority to punish you uh, just for burning a flag. If you are endangering your surroundings, again, if you're attacking people while doing it or possibly doing harm to property, if you're on someone else's private property burning a flag, that could be a problem. If you're burning it in an area where, you know, you're burning it in the middle of uh, the California drought near a large pile of firewood or something like that. Yeah, that, that could be dangerous. But the mere act is uh, clearly a form of protected expression. In fact, all forms of expression are protected unless there is a victim. Uh, in that sense, there is no crime. It's like trolling. It's the same thing. The government's always talking about, oh, we need to crack down on this cyberbullying crap. Well, it's not illegal. It's perfectly legal to harass people online. If you're stalking somebody around online or making criminal threats against them or something like that or trying to steal their identity, yeah, that's illegal. That's already covered under different laws. But the mere act of pissing people off is perfectly legal. Um, it's been yeah, mentioned time and time again. It's ridiculous that the courts even have to weigh in on these things. The flag of the United States is literally a piece of cloth. That is what it stands for. If you don't like the fact that people are burning flags, don't burn the flag. You're giving it greater meaning. You're actually giving these people what they want by getting all upset and talking about it constantly, specifically because that's the whole point of why they're burning it in the first place. They're trying to get people's ire up. Westboro Baptists do this. Like when they hold up uh, their offensive signs, they almost want people to assault them so they can sue them. This is how they feed their church coffers. It's obvious that their little mini mega church isn't thriving. You know, they don't have their own bus and all of these other things they have just because of tithing or anything like that. It's basically a family congregation. They're getting a lot of their money through lawsuits. People who are burning the flag are looking generally for a response. So don't give them a response and largely they will stop bothering to do it. Um, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't offend me, and it's, it's strictly wrong. What Trump is suggesting is illegal. Um, it cannot actually be done. The U.S. government certainly doesn't have the authority to strip people of their citizenship, thankfully, uh, because otherwise you might envision some weird dystopian future. And this goes out to you out there that find burning the flag specifically distasteful, and you're like, oh, it should be banned. If the government had that authority, you might envision a future where a bunch of far leftists decide, oh, anyone with politically incorrect views isn't a citizen, so they don't have free speech or something like that. The government doesn't get to pick and choose. Uh, the government doesn't get to, society at large doesn't get to pick and choose what constitutes, in many cases, acceptable behavior. Um, except for some of the outdated moral laws we have, like the drug war, something like that. Something from the better part of a century ago, back when... 
uh, people were more tolerant of totalitarianism, let's face it. But this is an authoritarian statement to make, and I completely disagree with Trump here, and the Supreme Court has already weighed in on this. Um, unless you're endangering a person or property or something like that, burning the flag remains and always will remain perfectly legal. It's already been weighed in on. It's another dead issue. It's like, it's like gay marriage, dead issue. Um, the people who continue to ramble and rave about it are wrong. Um, you're not going to get anywhere. You're not going to gain any traction. You're losing steam every day. Um, I remember back, I think it was in the late 90s, we already basically had this debate over flag burning. Uh, it became a big issue at the time. Such that even a lot of Democrats, by the way, at the time were like, yeah, I'm not comfortable with the U.S. flag being burned. Is it really constitutionally protected? It's not speech. You're not speaking. You're just burning something. Well, uh, by that token, it would be quite similar to instituting a law, oh, you can't burn the Quran or you can't burn the Bible because that's uh, desecration of religious sacred texts or something like that or uh, something along those lines. It'd be retarded. There's no way to enforce it anyway. How the hell are you going to enforce it? Someone goes out and burns the U.S. flag and you're not there to see it. Well, how are you going to bring charges in the first place? Kind of ridiculous notion. Not going to work very well. The idea of uh, imprisoning people for doing it is laughable. The idea of stripping them of citizenship for doing so is even more so. Uh, probably the worst suggestion, honestly, that Trump has made. I told people a long time ago, if Trump said things that were truly batshit, I would criticize him. Well, I'm going to criticize him for this, because he's completely wrong. Uh, I will say that the saving grace is that a hell of a lot of other politicians have said even crazier shit even faster <laughs> than Trump. A lot of what he says is just bombast, or it's perfectly acceptable, and people just don't perceive it that way because they've been... Uh, fooled by the legacy media and their victims of uh, malevolent propaganda. For instance, the idea you can't uh, criticize Obama because then you're a racist or something like that. But this would be a truly bad suggestion. I don't honestly know what he was thinking. I think probably uh, he doesn't have any illusion that this is actually going to happen. He's just playing up to sort of the Republican core to silence them while he builds his cabinet or something. But still, uh, long term, uh, some a concept like that could come back and haunt him potentially if he runs for re-election. It'd be a bad thing to pursue. It'd be a, it'd be more of a losing issue than going back to the bad old days of the GOP constantly rambling about the sanctity of marriage or something from an electoral standpoint. It'd be ridiculous. He needs to focus now on economic issues primarily. He needs to do something quickly about the ACA. He needs to do something about uh, heavy-handed government regulation and trade deals. If he begins by doing those things, I will approve largely of the job he's doing. His popularity will probably skyrocket. The economy will begin to grow at a greater clip. Probably not the 4% he's talking about, but at a greater clip than the mediocre level it's supposedly growing at now. If he chooses to focus on a bunch of moral issues, things related, again, like flag burning or something like that, he's not going to make any significant headway. He needs to be very careful of moral issues because a lot of people in this country already think he's the next Adolf Hitler. In fact, he shouldn't talk about these issues at all. He should talk about the economy and togetherness and all of these things um, and possibly renegotiating foreign deals as well and focus maybe on ISIS or something that most of the population agrees on how we're going to end up having to handle that as opposed to using this which is a perennial wedge issue uh, which will not go in the favor honestly of him or the GOP that's about all peace out